I love budget guitars and Ola England just sent me his brand new Flying V to put to the test. This was the worst thing to ever happen to expensive guitars. The CNC machine. Cork sniffers, fart hoppers, and occasionally even musicians have been hoarding cool guitars for decades, driving up the prices on the used market in pursuit of their own vanity. Playing guitar went from cranking up your amp, pissing off your parents and generally having a good time to collecting valuable electric twangers in order to raise influence on internet forums. Once upon a time, good guitars were expensive, and cheap guitars were terrible. But in the modern age of CNC manufacturing, the cheap guitars are awful fallacy went out faster than Vince Neil's diet plan. And if you're a normal person that hasn't been hanging around with all the pompous dickheads down at the Guitar Collector's Country Club, you heard the big news the other day about S by Solar, their new budget line. And many of you asked, hey Glenn, can you review one of these things? Of course I can. But just to make things interesting, let's bring in an expert. I would never sell in my hands with such cheap, shoddy, awful things. Let's not mince words here. The quality of budget brand guitars these days is outstanding. This Harley Benton double cut I got a while back is one of my all time favorites. It even held its own against a $4,000 Gibson Les Paul in a blind test, a blind test that you guys took. Turns out they really don't sound all that different from each other when you plug them in and actually listen to the amp. Now that little tidbit of information really pissed off the collectors. <laughs> I can tell the difference. Remember guys, to get a real tone advantage, you need to spend all your money on the guitar. Because that's the important part. At least that's according to the Papa's dickheads. But for those of you out there who don't have a lot of cash to burn, and more importantly, don't have their heads up their asses, it's a great time to get a great instrument without spending a shitload of money on a status piece. Truth be told, I am super excited about these because they're affordable and I think they just plain look cool. So I reached out to my favorite Swede to get a hold of one of these. No, my other favorite Swede. Play it and show how I do it. No, my other, other favorite Swede. Fucking editors. <laughs> now, I really do love budget guitars because some of them are truly outstanding. But unfortunately, not all of them like this piece of shit from Harley Benton, which wasn't even grounded in the factory. Well, there's your problem right there. Hey, Ola, I really hope for your sake that this guitar doesn't suck. Hey guys, before we take a look at the V, I wanted to ask you a question. Did you know that only 43% of my total viewers are actually subscribed to the channel? It costs nothing to hit the button and it would mean the world to me if you would. More subscribers means better videos and that's what I wanna make for you. And I'd be thrilled to have you along for the ride. All right, back to the V, moment of truth. Let's see if this lives up to the hype. All right, just what I wanted, another box. All right, we get a gig bag, cool. There's actually a little bit of weight here. Now, being that this is designed with a beginner or budget player in mind, the fact that it comes with a gig bag is a very nice touch. Maybe at one point we'll actually get to see what the hell this thing looks like. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's see what we got. Ooh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Damn. That is freaking gorgeous. Harley Benton, I hope you're taking notes. got the guitar plugged in, let's see what it's all about. Oh yeah, that's what it's all about right there. That is metal as fuck. Now, of course, we always get the chorus of, but what about clean sounds, Glenn? All right, all right, just for you guys, here you go.
Yep, does cleans. And of course, for the edge of breakup guys. <laughs> Fuck. You happy? You know, I just don't get it. They always want the edge of breakup tone in the comments, and yet none of you guys ever go on a Rhett Schultz channel and ask him to play Painkiller. But for some dumb reason, all the Joe Bonamassa fans show up on my channel. Do not say his name. We do not talk about the dark one. But I know why all you cool guys are here. You guys came for the metal. <laughs> Alright guys, today's episode is brought to you by Mototone, creators of the mighty BV25M speaker, and that is what I'm running through today. Now, I keep coming back to the speaker time and time again because it sounds freaking awesome, and more importantly, it's not a vintage 30! Yes, we are allowed to use other speakers in metal and find our own thing. The cool thing is, Mototone has a whole bunch of great speakers to choose from, like the BV30H, which is another great metal machine, and the brand new BV60M, a low-weight neodymium magnet speaker, which I'll be demoing on the show real soon. The thing I really love about Mototone speakers is that they're priced lower than their competitors, making them a serious option for the guitar player looking to stand out from the crowd in a world of soundalikes. You can go check them out at mototone.com. Links in the description below. Now let's get back to this V. Now one thing I constantly read in the comments is that, oh, you'd never bring a cheap guitar like that to a gig. And to me, that's kind of missing the point. This is a great guitar if you're a gigging musician, because at $299, it's not the biggest loss in the world if it gets broken or stolen. Now, my editor had a Jackson V stolen out of his car while at a gig recently. It was worth $1,400, and his deductible was 1000 You could buy three of these for what the deductible costs, and still have enough left over to take the band out for lunch at Five Guys. And by that, I mean Five Guys, you are fucking overpriced! <laughs> One of these days I am going to get that right. I'm getting so freaking close, but not quite there yet. Yeah, it's probably the guitar's fault because it's just not expensive enough. I only have my guitars made from the finest, finest tone woods. This one was made from Paul Reed Smith's sock drawer. I think Solar got really smart here. There's far more beginners out there than there are seasoned musicians. But so many brands these days are catering to the intermediate and the advanced player. S by Solar is something new because they're making cool guitars with the beginner in mind. These aren't museum pieces. These guitars are meant to be played, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. I would never actually play this. It would depreciate the value. All right, let's give this guitar the Spectre Sound five-star breakdown. For packing, let's give it five stars. There's no issues. This came double boxed, and the fact that we got a gig bag at this price point is absolutely awesome. Setup, I'm going to give it two out of five stars. The intonation really does leave something to be desired. Sorry, guys, but I got to dock your points a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna probably have to take about a half hour and adjust this, just get it set up perfectly. I think they could have spent a, a little bit more time with it uh, during the setup phase before it got out of the factory. Now for fit and finish, I'm gonna give it four stars. There are absolutely no flaws on this instrument whatsoever that I can find. My only gripe is that the frets are a tiny bit scrubby, meaning it's like you start bending, you can kind of feel that they should have maybe polished them up just a little bit more. By way of comparison, I got this Harley Benton double cut and the frets are just absolutely gleaming. You can bend this thing like you wouldn't believe. And it's just absolutely flawless. They did a wonderful job on this. I think S-By Solar could just step their game up a little bit as far as polishing the frets is concerned. However, the fret ends are nicely sanded and they're very comfortable. And honestly, they're better than the white Solar Wolfmaster I reviewed a couple of months ago. Components get two and a half stars. There's no complaints here, but there's nothing special or noteworthy as well. First upgrade I'd make to this guitar would be to install some locking tuners for faster string changes. 
Whereas most guitar players would probably say, oh, you need to replace your pickups without bothering to provide evidence of any kind as to why. And those guitar players need to shut the fuck up. Overall, despite a few gripes with the setup, it's a very fun guitar to play. And at only $299, I really don't think there's anything that comes close to this on the market in terms of price for what you get. So my judgment is... It's pretty brutal. Brutal, brutal, really yeah. brutal. And just to say thank you for being awesome for watching this episode, I'm going to give this guitar to some lucky bastard out there somewhere in the world. All you have to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow the giveaway instructions in the description below. I think Solar might be onto something here. They're offering real alternatives to their own higher price models because they realize that new players mean more sales in the long term. It's been said that if you don't cannibalize yourself, somebody else will. And they've taken the notion of budget guitars to a whole new level. In my opinion, this guitar is nothing short of spectacular because Harley Benton finally has some real competition and the winner in this is gonna be the consumer. But I'm just a hack engineer working out of a garage studio. What could I possibly know? Well, I was rather disappointed with the piano lows and it lacks the bell-like clarity of an expensive instrument. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the show. Please don't forget, one of the main ways I can fund this show is through my company, Spectre Digital. And we've got the brand new bass ant sim that is blowing everyone's mind. Element bass. What's it sound like? Check this out. Get your copy at Spectre Digital right now and add the missing element to your music. Hey, Nigel, uh, what do you think of the guitar, man? Well, I suppose it's all right, but you'll never get your resale value.